Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. This man was allowed to be with every presidential candidate. He was allowed to throw parties. He was hailed as a hero. And yet behind the scenes, everyone knew that this is what he was engaged in. This was an open secret in Hollywood. But it also reminds me of Harvey Weinstein in the sense that there you had somebody, you know, in the movie industry, as big as P. Diddy. Everyone must have known something about it. I think that this is... Yeah, I'm always trying to look for the rainbow in the cloud, the whatever is the silver lining. Piers Morgan, the bull British TV personality, has never been one to hold his tongue. But recently, his show has become a magnet for whistleblowers, those who have some of the most jaw-dropping things to say about the hidden workings of the industry. But Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters, and the victim-making machine kept going on. Now, rumors are swirling that Oprah Winfrey herself, the queen of television, is plotting to shut him down. Could it be? Has Piers invited too many controversial guests onto his show? And is he about to face the wrath of Hollywood's most powerful figures? Their lawyers contacted us to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact, and we've therefore complied with a legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing interviews is not something we do lightly, at a show called Uncensored. Piers Morgan has been a staple in media for years. Known for his fiery opinions in unfiltered interviews, he's often ruffled feathers, but none more than those of the entertainment elite. For a while now, his show has become a safe space for whistleblowers, people who are ready to spill Hollywood's deepest, darkest secrets. And no one in the industry holds more secrets than the queen herself, Oprah Winfrey. But when you start interviewing people like Jaguar Wright, who openly exposes figures like Diddy and Jay-Z, you risk stepping into dangerous territory. In a world where power is everything, Oprah has long reigned supreme. But Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim-making machine kept going on. What happens when she decides that Piers Morgan has crossed the line? Could she be the one to cancel him forever? What if she, with her vast network of influence, decides that Piers is no longer worth the risk to her inner circle? The rumors are growing louder, and it seems like Piers might be one whistleblower interview away from losing everything. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? Because that's what he does. In recent months, Piers Morgan has featured an increasing number of guests who are more than willing to spill Hollywood's best-kept secrets. From Jaguar Wright to Candace Owens, these whistleblowers have one thing in common. They know too much. And with every episode, Piers is inching closer to exposing the power players in Hollywood. Players that include names like Oprah, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Tyler Perry, and Diddy. One notable guest, Jaguar Wright, came on Piers' show to share her experiences in the music industry, revealing some shocking truths about Diddy and his alleged manipulation behind the scenes. Jaguar started by addressing Piers' question about whether she felt vindicated after Diddy's recent legal troubles. Despite the charges against him, she made it clear she didn't feel any relief. For her, the process of accountability was just beginning. Do you feel vindicated yes. by the events of the last few weeks? No, not at all. Um, I... Because he's just the beginning. She explained that Diddy was just the tip of the iceberg, a figurehead for a deeply rooted culture of exploitation in the music industry. Jaguar spoke openly about her personal experiences. Having been in the industry for over 30 years, she shared stories of her elders warning her to avoid certain people, but even that advice wasn't enough to protect her from the trauma she endured. Decades later, she still suffered from PTSD and what troubled her most was hearing younger women recounting the same kinds of AB. You live through these things, you're still suffering the PTSD created by all of this, and you're talking to a victim that's 20 years younger than you, and she's telling you the exact same thing that happened to you. This, she explained, made Diddy and his actions even more dangerous. The harm continued across generations, protected by the industry's silent complicity. A large part of the interview focused on the toxic culture that Jaguar said had been allowed to thrive under powerful figures like Diddy. She didn't just speak from her own experience. 
She also described what she had seen during her time in the industry, including when she worked as a dominatrix before landing her record deal. This gave her a unique understanding of how the entertainment industry and S-World often intersected. Jaguar didn't hold back. She detailed the horrifying behaviors she had either witnessed or heard about, including ritualistic practices, drugging women, and treating them like disposable objects. The scale of the AB, hidden by NDAs and hush money, kept it out of the public's view for years. And it's all done under the protection of this is going to be paid off. There's another NDA. This is going to be, it's terrible. Jaguar pointed out that many people knew what was happening. Many knew, but nobody was brave enough to speak out. And if they did, they weren't believed. This culture of silence, she insisted, had protected P-daters like Diddy for far too long. One of the most disturbing parts of Jaguar's claims was the idea that Diddy was selected for his role. She argued that he had been specifically chosen to help maintain control over the black community in the entertainment world. People keep looking at him like he's the Sputnik that came out of nowhere. This is someone who was designed to be what he is. We got to stop making ditties. Jaguar didn't just point the finger at Diddy. She also named people like Clive Davis and Lucian Grange, saying they helped Diddy rise to power and shielded him from the consequences of his actions. According to her, Diddy was handpicked to manipulate and exploit the precious jewels of black culture for the industry's profit, leaving behind a trail of broken lives. This kind of revelation is the stuff of Hollywood nightmares. For years, rumors have circulated about the power certain celebrities hold over others, but no one dared to say it outright, until now. And it wasn't just Jaguar Wright. Piers also hosted Mark Lamont Hill and Candace Owens, who debated whether the Hollywood elite have far too much influence over media narratives. Piers kicked things off by acknowledging just how serious the situation is for Diddy. And Candace jumped right in, making it clear she saw this coming from a mile away. I think I was on your show before he got arrested, she stated confidently, explaining how she went through the lawsuit against Diddy and found an avalanche of evidence, photos, videos, you name it. The, the press and the media and the public at large is, is shocked by what's happening, but we really are just getting to the beginning of everything. Candace wasn't pulling any punches. She argued that while the media and the public are shocked, we're merely scratching the surface of a much bigger story. There are a lot of people who have been named that have not been brought to heel, people that were above him, music executives. And none of this is shocking, really. I think, you know, yesterday a, a report came out that showed that faith in the mainstream media is at an all-time low. Candace then dropped a staggering statistic claiming that about 65% of Americans no longer trust what they read. The Diddy case is a prime example of why people feel this way, she asserted. It's wild to think about how many have spent years defending Diddy while he was living a double life, treated like a hero while doing some truly shady things behind closed doors. Candace brought up Kanye West's comments saying, Kanye was dismissed as crazy when he mentioned Diddy. This raises a critical question. How many people in power knew about this and just kept quiet? And speaking of silence, Candace didn't hold back when she called out LeBron James. You have a friend who's been caught on camera beating a woman and you've said nothing, she said. This really points to a troubling hypocrisy among some of the biggest names in the game. It seems that when it comes to standing up for what's right, some are more concerned about their reputations than their morals. Piers chimed in, likening the whole situation to the Epstein scandal. It reminds me a bit of Epstein, he remarked, and you could feel the weight of that comparison. He speculated that as this investigation heats up, more big names could be dragged into the fray. But here's the kicker. It's not just LeBron who's been quiet. And this is where Oprah Winfrey comes in. Many fans believe she's also been silent, despite being high up in the Hollywood hierarchy. Given her power and connections, there's no way she hasn't heard about these allegations. In any case, this wouldn't be the first time that Oprah Winfrey has allegedly protected a P-dater. Oprah has been associated with some questionable people before, like John of God and Harvey Weinstein. You see, Oprah's ties to Harvey Weinstein have come under intense scrutiny. Their friendship spanned over two decades, 
And while some argue that Oprah couldn't have known about Weinstein's predatory behavior, others find this hard to believe. Weinstein's reputation in Hollywood was no secret, even in the 90s. When Weinstein was finally exposed and faced multiple allegations of S.A., rumors circulated that Oprah allegedly called him to offer her support. Although her team denies this, many believe it due to their close friendship. Oprah had been a prominent figure in Weinstein's life, attending numerous events together and often being photographed with him. This connection runs deeper than just public appearances. Oprah and Weinstein collaborated on several projects, including The Butler, a film that Weinstein produced. Oprah's involvement in the film was seen as a significant endorsement, lending credibility to Weinstein's work. This partnership extended beyond the screen, with both appearing together at various industry events, solidifying their public association. They had a very warm friendship and the photo show. Some people actually believe that Oprah convinced some actresses to hook up with Harvey Weinstein. In fact, Rose McGowan tweeted out, I'm glad more people are seeing the ugly truth of Oprah. I wish she were real, but she isn't. Oprah has attempted to speak out on Harvey Weinstein, but she never really gets to the point, and you can tell that she's trying to protect him. I think that this is, I'm always trying to look for the rainbow in the cloud, the whatever is the silver lining, and so I think this is a watershed moment. Of course, Oprah is trying to switch the narrative and make this about everyone else but Harvey. But we need to talk about the bizarre contrast in Oprah's behavior when it comes to dealing with people like Harvey versus dealing with someone like Michael Jackson. In early 2019, there was a documentary created about Harvey Weinstein titled Untouchable. It premiered at Sundance, but it didn't get a lot of media attention. And of course, Oprah didn't bring any attention to that documentary. But when it comes to the documentary about Michael Jackson leaving Neverland, Oprah decided to go and promote that everywhere. Oprah decided to hold a special show after the airing of Leaving Neverland. This decision raised questions about her motivations and the selectivity of her actions. She invited some of Michael Jackson's alleged victims to share their stories on her show, but noticeably omitted any plans to invite Harvey Weinstein's victims to discuss their experiences. This discrepancy raised eyebrows and invited speculation about Oprah's seemingly protective stance towards her friend, Harvey Weinstein, while choosing to shine a spotlight on figures like Michael Jackson. What added an additional layer of intrigue to the situation was the fact that Harvey Weinstein was a convicted criminal, his guilt well-established and publicized. The evidence against him was overwhelming, leaving no room for doubt about his actions. So, why did Oprah seemingly avoid holding him accountable on her platform? The absence of any efforts to shed light on his story or provide a platform for his victims was perplexing and opened the door to accusations of selective justice. Meanwhile, Jaguar Wright recently connected the dots on Harvey Weinstein's connections to Diddy. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Sean Combs have one person in common. And then we have John of God. John of God agreed to sit down with me under a mango tree on the grounds of the Casa. A group of his patients gathered to watch. John of God was a Brazilian healer who claims to possess spiritual powers and uses them to purportedly heal people. Sounds like something out of a Hollywood movie, right? Well, in this case, reality turned out to be even stranger than fiction. John of God, as he came to be known, managed a healing facility in Brazil where vulnerable individuals sought solace and spiritual guidance. Little did they know that the man they were entrusting their well-being to had a dark, and sinister side. It wasn't long before the truth about John of God's criminal activities came to light. Reports of S.A. and A.B. began to emerge, painting a chilling portrait of a man who shamelessly took advantage of those who sought his help. One particular incident sent shockwaves through the public. A woman who had visited John of God's Center for Healing found herself subjected to the most heinous act imaginable during a private consultation. It's enough to make your skin crawl just thinking about it. But what's truly mind-boggling is the role that Oprah played in catapulting John of God into the limelight. By featuring him on her show, she bestowed upon him a stamp of legitimacy giving him access to a wider audience and inadvertently endorsing his criminal behavior. 
It's almost inconceivable that someone as influential and respected as Oprah could be so blind to the true nature of this charlatan. Was it naivety or a calculated move? Only those privy to the inner workings of Oprah's world can truly know. This eyebrow-raising incident took place back in 2010 during one of Oprah's attention-grabbing segments titled Do You Believe in Miracles? Little did her audience know that the miracle they were about to witness was the rise of a criminal under the guise of a spiritual healer. It's a testament to Oprah's unparalleled ability to captivate and sway her viewers that she managed to give John of God a platform, despite the unspeakable acts he would later be accused of. Anyway, while Oprah did attempt to salvage her reputation by expressing empathy towards the brave women who came forward with allegations against John of God, it's clear that her involvement had already left a mark. The damage had been done, and the sinister connection between Oprah and this criminal healer would forever be etched in the annals of scandalous history. In any case, Oprah Winfrey is not just a media mogul. She is the media. For decades, she has shaped narratives, guided the conversation, and maintained her iron grip on the entertainment world. But Piers Morgan, with his controversial guests and their damning revelations, threatens to destabilize the careful balance Oprah has maintained for years. Jaguar Wright didn't stop at exposing Diddy. In a shocking claim, she also hinted at Oprah's own involvement in Hollywood's dark underbelly. Wright suggested that Oprah knew about Diddy's alleged wrongdoings, but chose to remain silent. And when someone of Oprah's caliber remains silent, it speaks volumes. This is not the first time Oprah's name has been dragged into controversy. While her public image remains untarnished in the eyes of many, those within the industry have always known that Oprah's power extends far beyond her talk show empire. With connections that reach every corner of Hollywood and beyond, Oprah has the ability to silence those who pose a threat to her. That lawyer's contact is to say that those claims were totally false and have no basis in fact, and we've therefore complied with the legal request to cut them from the original interview. Editing interviews is not something we do lightly at a show called Uncensored. It's believed that Piers Morgan's recent apology to Jay-Z and Beyonce after the Jaguar Wright episode was not voluntary. Sources claim that the couple, possibly backed by Oprah herself, pressured Morgan into retracting his comments. While the apology seemed genuine, those in the know believe it was more of a warning shot, one that hinted at the bigger consequences that could follow if peers continued down this dangerous path. Meanwhile, Oprah's influence doesn't stop with her own media empire. Her network includes some of the most powerful names in entertainment, people like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Tyler Perry, and, of course, Diddy. These individuals have built careers and fortunes that depend on maintaining the status quo in Hollywood. And any disruption to that balance poses a threat to them all. Diddy, in particular, has long been rumored to have a treasure trove of secrets about the industry's biggest stars. Jaguar Wright's shocking statement that Diddy has tapes on everyone sent waves through Hollywood. But... What happens if those tapes come to light? And how far would someone like Oprah go to protect herself and her circle from exposure? Well, the more whistleblowers that Piers Morgan gives airtime to, the greater the threat to Oprah's empire. It's not just about what Diddy might have on her, it's about the ripple effect that comes with these revelations. If one card in the House of Hollywood falls, the entire structure could come crashing down. Oprah's power is not just about her influence, it's about the careful web of alliances she has built over decades. And Piers is dangerously close to unraveling that web. For Piers Morgan, the stakes have never been higher. While he has built his career on controversy and confrontation, the potential consequences of tangling with someone like Oprah Winfrey could be catastrophic. If Oprah decides that Piers has become too much of a threat, she has the means to make him disappear from the airwaves forever. It wouldn't be the first time someone in Hollywood was quietly canceled. Over the years, numerous figures have faded into obscurity after crossing the wrong people. And with Oprah's extensive network, it wouldn't be difficult for her to orchestrate Piers' downfall. Whether it's through behind the scenes pressure on networks or more direct action, the possibility of Oprah plotting Piers' cancellation 
is becoming increasingly real. As Pierce continues to invite controversial guests onto his show, the countdown to his potential downfall is ticking. The question is, will he back down? Or will he continue to push the envelope, risking everything in the process? Piers Morgan has always been a risk taker, but in Hollywood, some risks uh, are too great. With Oprah Winfrey potentially plotting his cancellation, Piers now finds himself in the crosshairs of one of the most powerful figures in the entertainment industry. As whistleblowers continue to reveal shocking secrets about Hollywood's elite, it's clear that the stakes have never been higher for peers and for those he's exposing. Will Oprah use her vast influence to silence Piers Morgan once and for all? Or will he continue to push forward, unearthing the truths that the entertainment world has tried to keep hidden for so long? One thing is certain, the battle between Piers and Hollywood's elite is far from over. And in the end, it may not just be his show that's on the line, it could be his entire career. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.